So I think I'll do one more level now, right now. Another door, what could be inside? Now in the Master System version you can pick which door you play first. So always play the third level of the first set first. Yeah, all the all the music in this Mega Drive version is it's okay, it's not it's not the greatest. But all the tracks that are in the Mega Drive version that are in the Master System version, the Master System versions are amazing. They're so good to listen to. Oh yeah, I don't have any items, I was trying to throw orbs at him, but I didn't have any orbs to throw. Are they orbs in this level, or...? Take our cli yeah, climb up the question mark block, so up here should be something to collect. Just health, not stuff I can throw. Okay, I was kind of hoping it would be stuff I could throw it would make this uphill struggle less struggling. Or I would be struggling less with it. I'm not struggling with it, it's easy. What am I talking about? So yeah, this is the toy box world, you know, toy soldiers, that sort of thing. Yes! Items! Probably going to end up climbing this hole. Oh, there we go. I was about to say, I'll probably end up climbing this whole thing without using them, but I don't know myself very, very well. Um, there, up there, up there, up there, up there, items, thank you. Oh, come on, that barely even clipped me. That's hardly fair. I've only got 16 more, so I better not waste them. I love the faces they make. Those jack-in-the-boxes look stupid. Anyway, as soon as you get the key, comes this running section where you have to jump to try and get all the gems, and I've never gotten them all. But it's still cool that they threw this in. They didn't have to. Oh, yeah. Right. This level's kind of annoying because it becomes like this maze. And you have to use items to destroy the walls. So I have to now hold on to the items I've got. That doesn't mean taking damage. Now this is straight out of Spring Yard Zone in Sonic 1. Have to be careful of the Jack in the Boxes, because they'll come out on the side you're on. Okay, what was up with the... Oh! Secret area? Extra life? No, not extra life, extra health. Because lives in this game are tries. Disney's a bit more honest about it. You don't get more than one try at life, guys. Be realistic. Oh, this jelly gets on my nerves. It got on my nerves as a kid, it gets on my nerves now. It's like there isn't even any sense to it. You're in a toy box world, why would there be jelly? What kind of toy box has jelly in it? I like the noise when you bang your head against stuff. I just like to think that's the sound of Mickey's head being completely hollow. They're annoying, the clowns. If you hit them and kill them, they like make a weird noise and then they disappear, but their unicycle remains and their unicycle travels really fast across the screen. Oh, don't tell me I've fallen down. Well, this time you'll get to see the, the unicycle. It's like a jingle out of catchphrase or something. Anyway, I'm not going to fail this jump this time. Oh, 
respawn the items. That's interesting. There we go. Although, I can only hold a maximum of 30, it seems. Okay. If I remember right, this is the last part. <laughs> Sorry. The last part of the... of the toy box stage. Now this can get very annoying. You see that, which I just avoided on the floor. That is the make everything upside down item. Damn it. I'm trying to avoid them because they make life so very painful. Unless I have to take them, I can't remember. Screw it. Let's switch it off. It does get very annoying. Hollow head. Clonk, clonk, clonk. I really don't like the look of that. Just kill them all. <coughs> Probably have to go up this time. Yeah. I need that health. Excellent. Well, I believe it's boss time now. Can't remember the boss. Now I can. Yeah, he's, he's like a jumping jack in the box guy. And he's really annoying. You have to like the springs to jump on his head and then straight away as soon as his animation ends he hurts you again. He, he, as soon as his little moment of invulnerability ends you take damage duck duck springs which don't hurt you down Okay. I seem to see the pattern. Most bosses of back in the day, they had patterns to them because it was easier to program. Gave a boss a few moves, it was easier to program. The problem was it made bosses easier. But yeah, after a while you just come to learn the pattern. He's got this Konami beat em up thing going on where he's actually getting redder the more hits he takes. I don't know if the other bosses in this game do that, the tree trunk didn't. Maybe it's because this boss was particularly annoying that they included it. Anyway, that was like five hits. Got another gem. Are they all red? Ah, this is the orange gem. You still have a long way to go before you can save Minnie. if I want to carry on with it. Who am I kidding? Finish what I started.